Hi, I'm having an off week in London. It's around noon and I'm still in bed, but I wanted to take you along as I reset, clean up, and sort myself out. What I think usually happens when you wake up around noon is that you feel like your whole day is wasted, but I hope watching this makes you realize that you can also still get a lot done. Since last week that I came back from New York, I think a lot of things have happened and I haven't gotten used to the amount of energy it's been taking me to recover from jet lag, starting my new part-time job where it's required me to do a lot of networking events and email people. And lastly, just the amount of small to-do list items that I have and I've been putting off. So. It's for an upcoming trip and I've been putting it off and those little things weigh on my mind. But cleaning up always makes me feel better. Something else that's been on my mind, I've been reconnecting with friends who are also in the same state of life as I am, where they're looking for their next job as well. We're asking themselves, do I return to corporate tech? Do I keep traveling and living off my savings? pursuing my creative or non-creative hobbies, or something like a sport, like rock climbing. It's been really interesting watching them. One of my other friends who's a writer took nine months off after he got laid off to write a novel, and then he got another job at a big corporate. So it gives me hope that I can also take time off to work on creative things and then land a job at a big corporate if I want to. While I was getting dressed this morning, I checked my emails and I got this notification that my humor article, Everything That I'm Afraid Will Happen If I Cry In Front Of My Therapist, just got published. This is one of my first humor articles that I wrote. It got rejected five years ago, many, many times. So this year I went back, I rewrote this article, I added a bunch more punchlines, made it way more heightened, and now it got accepted into points in case which is a win for me because the last three, four articles that I sent to them, they didn't take. So I'm really happy that they finally took one of my articles. During this time, it's wins like these that just get my mood back on track. Actually, I usually just drink directly from the blender instead of making it into a cup, but this cup is really cute. It was a birthday gift and I wanted to be a little extra today. On to what do I need to do today? And I have a couple things I have to take care of before tomorrow. I need to schedule a phone call with a recruiter. I got connected with the recruiter through a referral. I just went back through my LinkedIn and reached out to anyone that I was connected with who was working at a company that had an open role that I thought was interesting and asked for a referral. So this is how I got this interview. I didn't pass the recruiter round for another role that was based in London, but I asked the recruiter if there were other roles that she thought I might be a good fit for and she actually passed me on to the US recruiter. Quick tip. In a bigger company, there will be multiple recruiters. So even if the hiring manager for a specific role isn't interested in your background, you might as well ask the recruiter if there might be other roles with other hiring managers who might be interested in you. And that recruiter might pass you on to someone else or might know another hiring manager that they are sourcing for and they could pass your resume along. I need to clean my apartment so vacuum the floor, clear the tables, clear this table.
it's the end of the day and I ended up getting um, a bunch of these baby food snack things. Um, when I'm feeling really lazy to cook, I just get myself baby food because it's got all the nutrients I need and it's super easy to eat. And I think my stomach has been feeling super cramped because I haven't been eating on a regular schedule and I haven't been sleeping that well. So hopefully this is going to help nurture me back to the state of nutrition I need to be at.